Hey, hey, uh, just want to do a quick one. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing a social media fast. Uh, our church was doing a... Our church has been fasting this month. So, like, the first month was one kind of fast, and then another kind of fast, and then this week... It, first month. First week. Uh, this week was a... Or is a social media fast. And I had already been thinking about doing a YouTube fast. Uh, or you know, quit YouTube for a week or something like that. So when pastor said, uh, <laughs> social media fast, I was like, ooh, <laughs> nailed it. Like, okay, here we go. Uh, so <clears throat> it's also, he, he was also talking about like the, uh, yeah, I mean, in so many words, he was talking about like the outrage machine, uh, you know, how there's always some kind of news, some, some new nonsense going on. And, uh, and none of it matters. So it's, so I'm tempering it like that. I'm doing no YouTube. Actually, I'm doing one YouTube video, uh, but no social media. And I don't really do much social media. I didn't realize until I was like halfway through, uh, my feed that Twitter is technically social media. So I'm cutting out that I'm not reading any of it. Um, uh, I have posted a couple things, but I just post and then see if anyone responded directly to me, but like no, no extra stuff. And then no podcasts, uh, listening to, uh, li actually listen to Rachmaninoff, which is really good. Awesome. Um, but no podcasts and nothing political at all. Um, <clears throat> so I'm giving myself one YouTube video a day <laughs> and, uh, it, it, uh, there was a podcast that I was like, Oh, I could make this it. I could watch this. And I'm like, Oh, I don't know if it's going to have politics in it. And like, ah, so it wound up being like a, a PewDiePie Minecraft video because <laughs> the, the, the drama in there is not political. It's just about Sven. <laughs> so, so that's been pretty good. Uh, not been pretty good. It's been hard. I mean, it's technically good. It's Wednesday. So we've made it, made it a ways. Um, my wife is doing it similarly, but she kind of felt it differently. So she's, she's playing it differently. Um, one of the guys from church was like, oh, wow, we're going to fast all media, like everything. And I'm like, that wasn't quite what I got. But, uh, you know, where, wherever your conviction lies, you know, it's like someone says something, you're like, oh, he means exactly this. Oh, he's cutting to the quick. And then he explains more and he, he isn't talking about that at all. You're like, oh, OK, well, no, hang on. You you felt uh, you felt, you know, there, there's guilt there. There's something going on there. <laughs> you have to address it. So uh, any of this quitting any of this self-control you know all of this fasting frankly is just it's good for good for the soul good for your strength keeps you uh keeps you strong I guess I've definitely been getting a lot more reading done <laughs> and I've done some uh worked on some nagging projects uh that kind of make my daily life a bit easier so it's been it's been going pretty good uh just been kind of nice to get away from the the outrage machine, just the, the daily, I mean, that, that was my problem. My, my, my vice, I guess my vice would all, my distraction, I guess would always be, um, with n politics and news. And the thing about politics and news is, you know, if nothing's happening, something has to be happening. <laughs> There's gotta be some new brand new outrage from somewhere. Someone tweeted something at someone, <laughs> you know, at no point are you going to turn on CNN or Fox News with their 24-hour news cycles and they'll be like, hey, everything's pretty good. Uh, we kind of caught up. Just uh, go outside. <laughs> no, they, they need the eyeballs. They need you need you glued to the screen. Um, but it, it just, <laughs> what is it? It's, it's all just so, it's all so tiresome. <laughs> you turn on anything and it's like, did you, did you see what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said today? Did you see? Did you see Trump's tweets? Huh? Oh, did, did you see Nancy Pelosi? Oh, I can't believe it. Did you see what Fox News, CNN? Oh, it's just like, it's a barrage. It's it's unbelievable. And it, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just super susceptible to it. But like, once I get out of it, I'm like, man, that's obvious. <laughs> Ridiculously obvious. But it's, it's easy, it's easy for me to get caught up in it, so getting clear of that has been <laughs> nice. It's easier, it's easier to joke about it, you get the perspective on it. 
uh, you get to get away from it for a little while. And I was just thinking about it because it was it was really tough today. <clears throat> and then I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh man, Saturday rolls around. I'm gonna watch so many YouTubes, and I was just like, I gotta do just like lock myself in a room for like five hours watching things at double speed. <laughs> like just the idea of that is is hilarious to me, <laughs> and uh, indicative of you know what I'm indicative that what I'm doing is not necessarily of value. <laughs> <clears throat> so I guess it's like, you know, I, I need to get back to quitting news, but there's a lot of like personal growth stuff and information stuff that kind of, uh, crosses the line, you know, straddles the line between personal development and news. You know, the news kind of informs some of this stuff <clears throat> and it helps, uh, and uh, is a good, like a foil to set against so that you have a little bit of perspective on it, on the idea. Uh, so it just kind of seeps in. It's just this miasma that's that works its way into everything, creeps its way into everything. Except for the Minecraft videos, the, the PewDiePie Minecraft videos. At no point will there be a problem. Uh-oh. The gate's open. I hope the tortoise is still in there. 